my channel or again welcome if you are new today we have another empties video I love doing these videos because I love sharing my thoughts on products that I have used for so long that I was able to fully use up the bottle or jar or whatever the case may be and so I can give you my full and honest opinion after using these products in my life and so you guys know the drill let's just get right on into this all right so the first thing i wanted to show you is the neutrogena hydro boost water gel i have definitely talked about this in multiple um other empties videos and i raved about it i said this was my favorite favorite um i guess i i have said it's my favorite drugstore gel moisturizer however i I had a funny, so I stopped using this for a while because I got the Belif um, Aqua Balm in one of my Sephora play boxes, and so I was using that. And once it ran out, I was just planning on, you know, again, substituting this back into my routine since I had loved it so much. And honestly, for the first couple of days, um, reintroducing this into my routine, it would kind of sting my skin a little bit. Like, it wasn't so severe that it felt like a, you know, burning sensation, but it was definitely stinging around the more, like, sensitive areas of my face, which happened to be, like, right around my nose. And, um, yeah, so I was a little surprised that because previously I had loved this product. If you hear some scuffling in the background, that would be my dog who is so politely deciding to play while I'm filming, so ignore her. Um, anyways, yeah, so not so, so in love with this anymore after having that experience. Um, I have decided to fully kind of go with Belif moisturizers, but obviously that is not for this video. We're just talking about the empties, so... I'm not sure if I would buy this again after having that experience, but who knows. It is a good drugstore um, moisturizer and I have used it for so long and it did stop bothering my skin after I used it for about a week, so who knows. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to go in any sort of order this time, I'm just going to literally pull out products from the bag and we get what we get. So next up, I actually have two jars of the same thing. This is the Ollie Perfect Women's Multivitamin. And I have the, like, this one just came with 20% more bonus gummies. They, these are gummy multivitamins. And these were the first gummy vitamins that I've ever taken. And um, they were good. They definitely tasted good. It was a little, I wasn't a fan of the fact that they just had, like, a sugar coating. Because I take my vitamins first thing in the morning right after breakfast. And I just felt weird. It felt like I was eating candy first thing in the morning. Um, but besides that, that wasn't too bad. And I did really like these vitamins. And um, I would probably take them in the future. Um, however, I have stopped taking them because I am starting to take prenatal vitamins if, in preparation for pregnancy. If you're following my vlog channel, then you already know this. But um, when I no longer need prenatal vitamins, I would definitely consider going back. I love the Ollie like branding. I just think their packaging is super, super cute. So I know that's not a reason to pick a vitamin, but... Um, yeah, I definitely liked it and would consider uh, using these again. Okay, another oldie and goodie. This is the Method All-Purpose Natural Surface Cleaner in the Pink Grapefruit scent. You guys know that this is my all-time favorite all-purpose cleaner, all-time favorite scent of the Method Cleaners. And yeah, I super love it. I use this to clean almost everything in my house. It smells so yummy. I just love the Pink Grapefruit scent. I have already bought another bottle of this and continue to plan to use this forever. <laughs> Another Method product is our laundry detergent. This is the Method 8X laundry detergent in the fresh air scent. I really like this. I love the pump design because then it doesn't get that soapy buildup around the um, cap that other like pore liquid detergents get. So super love this. I've used this for a couple years now and really love it. I love how concentrated it is so that the, you know, you don't have to use as much per load. and. Yeah, smells really good. I definitely plan to continue using this. I'm not currently using it because they didn't have it when I went to the store, so I'm just using like the, I think, six times concentrated one, which unfortunately doesn't have a pump. But yeah, until I can get another bottle of these, the other one will do just fine. Okay, and so I have, I'm not sure if I've talked to you about my updated opinions on this shampoo yet, because I know for a couple of empties videos, I raved and raved about how much I loved the organic shampoo, and it was like my favorite ever, and I was like in love with it. And honestly, after trying like a head and shoulders shampoo and conditioner that I got in an influencer box, I went to go back to this once I ran out of that and I really pretty much hated this. It did not keep my hair, it did not get my hair as clean as the head and shoulders and it didn't keep it as, you know, it didn't keep it clean for as long. I would need to, you know, shampoo my hair more frequently with, with this and like I said, even like immediately after the shower, I just felt like my hair was not as clean as it was with other shampoos. So yeah, I will not be using this again in the future, and um, which is unfortunate because I do like how like, you know, I don't know, I loved 
I guess the idea of it, of it being a really, you know, natural shampoo, but I don't even know how natural the ingredients actually are, but regardless, I won't be buying this in the future because I don't think it works very well. A new discovery that Melissa and I have both been using and loving is the Aveeno Active Naturals Daily Moisturizing Body Wash, and we got it in the... Does it have a scent? Uh, I think just nourishing oatmeal. I really like um, oatmeal scented like body washes and stuff. I just think it smells really yummy and clean. And it just feels like it's really good for your skin, nice and moisturizing. And that is why we actually got it because um, our house just has a very dry winter. I guess it has a dry heat. And so both of our skins were, get, were getting like very dry. I was getting like dry patches where it was like actually feeling, you know, pretty scaly. And so we wanted to get a moisturizing body lotion, and um, yeah, this completely took care of that. It was really, really good for our skin, and I didn't really have any issues with dry skin for the rest of the winter, and so I'm really pleased with that. And we already have rebought this product, but I believe it's just in a different scent. It was like a peach scent or something like that, but it's essentially the same thing, and I would definitely consider getting just the original oatmeal scent again, because again, like I said, I do like that scent. Moving along, we have another Method product. This is the dish soap I use pretty much nothing but this dish soap. I mean, I, I love the Method brand, and so a lot of their products I'm very, very loyal to because I just think they're really good products. And I can also feel good and safe about using them because they are nice and natural, non-toxic. This is actually um, non-toxic plant-based, um, which I like. I don't know if all of their products are. I've actually never like super looked into it. Yeah, non-toxic plant-based, so that's awesome. I guess all their products are plant-based, which is very, very nice, so I don't have to worry about you know using uh, harsher toxic chemicals around my house, um, especially on dishes that you eat off of. So yeah, this is in the Sea Minerals scent, and I do really remember. I do remember really liking this. It was a very soft and gentle scent. Yeah, it smells kind of soapy, but I don't know. I thought it was really nice. Like I said, it's a very like soothing, calm scent. I would say, and yeah, I enjoyed using this, and I would definitely consider getting this scent again. I am already using another of the Method dish soap, just I think in like the lemon scent currently, but yeah, liked this. All right, I have another vitamin here for you. This is the fish oil, and it's the 365 brand in the um, 1,000 milligrams, I would assume that is, and I've been taking these for a couple years now. I really, really like them. I love that they're gel capsules. I think gel capsules are just the easiest um, pills to take, and I currently have another one of these down in my kitchen, and again, I am going to use that until it's up and then I'm probably going to get the prenatal DHA from um, Rainbow Light, which is the prenatals that I'm using, but you'll hear all about that in a future empty video. But yeah, I will definitely be considering going back to this once I am not doing like the whole pregnancy vitamin regimen. I really like this fish oil. And I think this is the last vitamin, another 365 everyday value brand. This is the vitamin D3 in uh, 1000 IU, not sure what that means, but um, I was recommended to take vitamin D by my acupuncturist, and yeah, I really enjoyed this brand. Uh, again, they were just tiny little gel capsules, and I stopped taking these when I started taking the Ollie gummies, because those gummies actually did include vitamin D, and so I just didn't need to take these separately anymore, but, um, and yeah, so as long as I'm taking some sort of multivitamin, I'm pretty sure almost all multivitamins, prenatals, etc., have vitamin D, but if I ever stop taking them, I would definitely consider just using these uh, vitamin D specific vitamins again. All right, next we have hand soap by J.R. Watkins, and we were testing this out when we ran out of, we usually use Mrs. Myers or Method hand soap around here, but um, we saw this while shopping and decided to give it a try. Uh, it is the foaming hand soap, and it's in the lemon citron scent. I personally wasn't a fan of this. We used it down in the kitchen by the kitchen sink, and it just, it was supposed to be foaming, but I felt like it was very liquidy, like not liquid soap liquidy, but like water liquidy. So it would kind of, it was hard to keep on your hands long enough to like, you know, scrub it into your hands and it would kind of just like drip off. So I wasn't a super fan. Um, I don't think I'll be buying it again because of that and just because I do really like the Mrs. Myers and um, Method brand hand soaps, I will likely just be continuing to purchase them. So it was kind of a bust for me. I also have another thing of my contact solution. This is the Bausch & Lomb BioTrue um, solution. And for a while I stopped using it because I had gotten some from Costco that was working just as well. 
And when I ran out of that, I bought some Bausch & Lohm, I bought some BioTrue again. Um, and again, I haven't seen literally any difference between the two. I've also bought some Up and Up contact solution recently, which I'm currently using, and my eyes still feel just as, you know, moisturized as they did with this. So I have no strong feelings on which contact lens solution I use. Basically, if something's on sale or convenient to get, I'll buy it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm still using the same toothpaste that I talk about in literally every empties video. This is the Sensodyne Pro Enamel Gentle Whitening. For those of you who are new to my channel, I absolutely love, love, love this uh, toothpaste and I will probably use it till the day I die. <laughs> I also started using uh, Simple Cleansing Micellar Water again for a while. I was very into it. I was using it in a dual cleansing system, so I would always... Um, put this on a cotton round and rub it over my face before cleansing, no matter if I was wearing makeup or not. Um, and then when I started cleansing with olive or olive oil, with uh, coconut oil, I kind of just fell out of using this. It kind of just felt redundant to me and I didn't feel the need to. Um, however, I have recently stopped cleansing with um, coconut oil and so I needed something to remove my makeup with. And so on days that I wear makeup, I use my cellar water and a cotton round to get off all of my face and eye makeup, um, not mascara, but the rest of my eye makeup. And it works really, really well. And yeah, and then I, I continue to cleanse after I use this so that I actually get to cleanse my skin and not just wash off the makeup. Okay, so this is one of the Lush uh, massage bars. I forget which one it's called, but it was the one with like, has some hairs on there. <laughs> But it had, it's the one that had like the little kind of nubby massage bars and it has the three holes on this side. Um, it smells really, really good and uh, my wife and I would use it for like back massages. Um, both of us have like, I guess back issues. We get like tight knots in our back and so we really like to do massages and the massage bars really definitely help. It makes it a whole lot easier to kind of like massage into a knot or you know around the back without pulling on the skin and it makes your skin really super soft. And if I didn't mention that, it's from Lush, I think I said, but <laughs> if not, um, yeah. And it lasted us for a good couple of years before being a little too, to where it was just a little too dried out and we just wanted to get a new one, so we just decided to throw that away. That's why I still have some of the bar left to show you for the empties video, but yeah, we really liked it. And again, we bought another one. We didn't buy that exact one, but um, I believe we bought like the cocoa one or the coffee one. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> definitely would recommend that and plan to continue using their massage bars. Alright, I have a mascara next up. This is the Benefit Roller Lash and I believe I got this one in a Sephora Play. And this is actually, I believe, the only mascara with a like rubber applicator as opposed to the like actual bristly applicators that I like. Normally I don't have enough lashes to make the rubber applicators kind of work and it just goes on really like clumpily and like just kind of like soaks mascara on my lashes, my lashes, but this one definitely uh, really nicely kind of spreads it out and it definitely does make my eyelashes curl up nice and you know not dramatically, but just a nice little lift from the curve of the wand I believe is how that's achieved, but yeah I really liked this mascara, it was a nice, um, it's good for kind of a softer look, not a bold heavy mascara look, but definitely a nice more like daytime kind of fluttery lash look, at least in my opinion. Um, I do already have another sample size mascara of this. I only ever use sample size mascaras because I don't use uh, mascara enough on a daily basis to go through the entire tube within the time that, um, you know, before it dries out. So I find that sample sizes are just the perfect size for me. And yeah, I actually use up the product by the time I need to replace it. So there's that, a little tip for you. If you are looking for ways to stretch your money, sample size mascaras. <laughs> oh, actually, and this is the moisturizer I was talking about earlier. This is the Belif, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. And this is the cream version of their Aqua Balm. So it was a, you know, white moisturizer rather than the, um, blue gel that the, I believe they're, I believe it's the Aqua Balm, and this is the Moisturizing Balm. I am absolutely obsessed with their whole line. I am now even currently using their eye cream. I have a mid-size, I don't have the full like $40 bottle of this moisturizer, but I am using the mid-size, um, I think it was like $22 in that Sephora, like, you know, impulse buy aisle before you check out. And yeah, I'm loving it. My skin loves it. It just, it moisturizes so nicely and it just feels really good on your skin. So previously, this is the only actual moisturizer, like lotion moisturizer that I will use. 
ex you know, other than this, I'm pretty exclusively um, a fan of gel moisturizers. I just like how they feel on my skin and I feel they really sink in nicely. This has the properties of a gel moisturizer while being more moisturizing like a cream. So my plan is to use the moisturizing balm in the winter months and then switch to the aqua balm in the hotter summer months because I do have slightly oily skin. So I feel like this would be a little too heavy for my skin in the summer, but um, yeah, been loving this for the winter and definitely plan. I think this, this is currently my all time favorite moisturizer, this and the aqua balm. They're kind of equal in my eyes, but highly recommend this and will definitely continue using this. Another moisturizer that is actually a long time favorite of mine is the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, and yeah, I've been using this since I was in high school. It always comes in like those little uh, Clinique bonus bags. And so my mom would always give me like those samples whenever she bought herself stuff from Clinique. And so yeah, I started using this from very early on. I've gone through several tubes of these um, in all sizes. And um, yeah, I don't use this as part of my regular um, you know, morning or night skincare routine. What I do use this for is um, after I apply a face mask, my skin usually feels pretty tight and dry and uncomfortable. And so if that's the case, I will put this moisture surge just on my whole skin to kind of give it a little bit of extra moisture after I treated it with a mask. Or if my skin just feels particularly dry throughout the day, I'll, I keep this usually in, right in my desk next to where I work and so I can just pull it out, dab a little bit on wherever feels dry and then go about my day. And yeah, I really love this and definitely would recommend this moisturizer. And finally, we have another makeup empty. This is the another Clinique product, Clinique Chubby in the Nude Foundation Stick. I again got this in one of their um, like bonus time sample bags. And when I first tried it, for some reason, I thought I didn't like it, and so it kind of just sat in my vanity for a little while, and then uh, I ran out of foundations in my shade, and so this was the only one that would, you know, that was kind of matching me, and so I decided to give it a try again, and I loved it. I It ended up being, like, you know, my go-to foundation until I ran out of it, and I don't think I've ever actually ran out of a foundation before and obviously this isn't a full-size product but yeah i definitely used it as far down as it would twist and i just loved it it made my skin look so nice and dewy but not oily because like i said i do have oily skin so i have to you know be careful with like super glowy products yeah this just made my skin look really nice and smooth and clear and like it kind of blended in my pores and yeah, I really liked this ma or mascara, <laughs> this foundation, and would definitely consider buying it again. I currently, I'm covered on the foundation front, so I haven't repurchased this yet, but I would definitely consider it. Also because it's just so easy to apply, and this I think is one of my favorite stick foundations I've ever used. It was really easy to blend into the skin after just kind of like, you know, drawing it on your face, which is very important. I find that some of them you'll kind of like draw on your face and then you have like a deposit of foundation that you can't really spread out to the rest. But this definitely, that wasn't an issue with this foundation. So yeah, I would recommend it. And that finishes up the empties for this time. I hope you guys enjoyed getting a peek at the products that I've been using in my life and hearing my thoughts on them. As always, I would love to hear any products that you've been using recently and super loving or would not recommend if you've had a terrible uh, experience with the product. I'd love to hear that too so that I don't have to, you know, waste my time telling out the products and I'm sure everyone else would appreciate the fair warning too. But yeah, leave me your product, product experiences in the comments below. And I think that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'd love to have you following along my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!